marks two weeks until Election Day with candidates in their final days of their campaigns. Iowa law does require people running for the state legislature to live in the district they would represent. But we found at least two candidates changed their address to run in a specific district this November, but one of them claims to live in a home that hasn't used water since February. Our KCRG TV9 I9 investigative team in a collaboration with KCCI Investigates found Iowa's residency law is virtually unenforceable. I-9 investigative reporter Ethan Stein joining us now live to explain it all. Jim, Beth, it all boils down to your voter registration. That address determines where you vote and where you're eligible to run for office. But Iowa law requires auditors assume your address is correct, meaning no one is checking to make sure candidates actually live in the district. House candidate Derek Wolf has talked about living on his family farm in Hudson for years. He's eligible for a tax credit this year and next year, according to county records, for working and living on the farm. But according to his voter registration, Wolf lives at this Waterloo mailing address. The move happened six months ago. It means instead of running in District 54, where his farm sits and a fellow Republican is running unopposed, Wolf is able to run for the open seat in a different district. Nobody answered at the farm home in Hudson, but Wolf's neighbors across the street told us the family definitely lives there. Do you know if there's a Derek Wolf that lives across the street? Uh, Wolfs do live across the street, yep. They do? Yep. 100%. 100%. We drove to Wolf's new address, but he wasn't there. The owner who donated to Wolf's campaign told us Wolf is renting a room. Are you renting out the room to him? Yeah. Wolf declined an interview with TV9. In a statement, he insisted he is a resident in his new district, sending us an electric bill and a driver's license to prove it. But he didn't explain why he lives in a room in Black Hawk County instead of the farmhouse he owns with his wife. Wolf was not the only politician to change his address before the upcoming election. According to voter registration records, Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitford moved to this apartment about two months ago. With redistricting, the move puts him in a more conservative district and avoided a potential primary challenge from a fellow Republican incumbent. We obtained water records for Whitford's new apartment. It shows not one drop of water has been used there since February. Whitford declined to answer questions, instead sending us a statement insisting he resides at the Grimes apartment. This residency problem isn't new. Almost nine years ago, Marion had a dispute over its then mayor, Snooks Busca, lived. His driver's license listed a Marion apartment, but he also owned a home about 12 minutes away in Hiawatha. The only time I'm in, uh, in Hiawatha is when I have to go home and feed the dog now. Marion City Council eventually ruled Busca met its residency requirement. To register to vote, Woodbury County Auditor Pat Gill says people just need to sign an oath that they are telling the truth. No supporting documentation needed. Just the form and a, and a pen. Why not check? Why not check? Uh, because it, it, I think it would just be an impossibility to check every one of those voter registrations as they, as they come in. After a registration is accepted, one of the only checks is another voter challenging somebody's registration. Those create a court-like procedure where auditors determine where somebody is more likely to actually live. Again, it's important to note both Wolf and Whitver have met the letter of the law. When we reached out to Mr. Wolf for comment, for comment, Jeff Kaufman, the chair of the Republican Party of Iowa, also responded with the statement, all GOP candidates on the ballot are legal residents of the districts they are voters they are running in. Voters looking for unbiased, balanced investigative reporting should change the channel. KCRG has turned into a press shop for Democrats. Some may also note that Marionette Miller Meek still lives in Ottumwa, but is running for the first congressional district, which no longer includes Ottumwa. But the Constitution only requires members of Congress live in the state they represent, not necessarily the district. In studio, Ethan Stein, KCRG TV9 News.